Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Sanford Khan here. I'd like to talk to you about a simple investment strategy. I remember when I was going to college, I had a professor, actually it was the dean of the department, engineering department, and he said, keep it simple, stupid. Not that we're stupid, but uh, he said it anyways. I guess we were freshmen, so we were stupid. But investments, it was widely touted when I got into the investment field a long time ago, but I haven't heard anything about it recently or for some time and it's a very simple investment strategy that you could use over time this is not a get rich quick please understand this this strategy is not for getting rich quick if you want to get rich quick there's a few ways you could do it you could go to vegas or some other casino go to the crap table or go to the card tables or something like that this is a simple strategy that does work over time and it's called dollar cost averaging. I'm not gonna tell you what stocks to buy, but do your research. Find a stock that you like that pays good dividends. I'm always, uh, I'm always interested in cash flow. I believe that if you own a stock, even if it goes nowhere, it should pay you, put money in your pocket. And that's called dividends. And the stocks that you, I think you should look at are the dividend aristocrats. These are, well, when they started out, there were 50 plus stocks, well, actually 50 stocks that paid continuous dividends for at least the last 25 years and have increased it every year for at least the last 25 years. The last time I looked, I think there's now 64 dividend aristocrats and IBM was recently, <laughs> was recently added to them. I'm not recommending IBM. I'm just giving this as a point of information. So look up the dividend aristocrats. Find a stock in the dividend aristocrats that's suitable. Remember that word. I, I have a video about this. The most investment, most important investment criterion is suitability. So find a stock that you think is suitable for you. And look at that and, and then start putting in a fixed amount, let's say every time period. It could be every quarter, every four months, every six months, something like that. Let's go through an example. I, I did. I wrote out an example here for you. So let's say you find a stock in the dividend aristocrats. It could be outside the dividend aristocrats, but personally, I, I like the dividend aristocrats. They've been paying dividends for at least the last 25 years and ra raising them every year for the last 25 years. So these companies are obviously well managed. So find one that's suitable for you. There's 64 of them or so right now. So what you could say, this is just an example. You gotta do what's best for you. I'm just saying that, let's say you wanna put in two, you find a stock, a stock, and you put in and say, I'm gonna invest $2,000 every quarter. At the beginning of every quarter on this particular stock, no matter what the price is. So let's say, the first quarter you do that, the price of the stock is $40 a share. That's the initial price. So 40 into 2,000 is 50 shares. The next quarter it goes up, it goes up to $60 a share. 60 into 2,000 rounded off is 33 shares. Next quarter, it's down to $30. The market has really taken a dive. It went down to $30 a share. Uh, you get 70 shares. That's not bad. Oh, excuse me, 67 shares. I couldn't read my own writing. <laughs> um, and then it goes back up to $50 a share in the fourth quarter, and you wind up with 40 shares. And you keep doing this for several years. So what happens? You build up the number of shares. And the longer you keep doing it, the more shares you get, and the more income you get. But let's just look at these four quarters. I, I added them up. I just picked these numbers out of random. There was no design here I picked them up. So out of four quarters, you to four times $2,000 is $8,000. You add up all the shares that you bought over the four quarters, 50, 33, 67, 40. That's 190 shares. And the uh, fourth quarter when you bought the last at $50 a share, you multiply 190 times 50, and that's $9,500. You put in 8,000, you already have $9,500. I mean, it could be more, it could be less, depending on the price of the stock. I just made these numbers up arbitrarily. I just wrote them down. But it does work over a longer period of time. 
It is not a get rich quick, but it's a simple strategy and there's value in simplicity. So consider dollar cost averaging. Find a stock that's suitable for you and stick with it for maybe a few years and build up the shares and build up your income. Anyways, that's enough for now. I don't want to keep this video. I don't want, I don't like long videos and I don't want to waste your time. Appreciate it if you could pass this video on to other people. And as always, subscribe to my YouTube channel. May you prosper in this new year. And hopefully this new year, 2021, will be much better than the preceding year. Uh, anything will be much better than what we went through in 2020. And hopefully the economy gets back to normal. Anyways, a secure future lies in vibrant economic growth. Take care, folks, and I hope to see you again. Bye now.